Yo guys, welcome back to another video on our channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the best AMP 63 class weapon in Warzone. Obviously this gun just came out the other day, you can unlock it in Cold War or Warzone. If you want to see any tips on that, you can go check out my previous videos on the AMP. So I'm just going to jump straight into it guys, I'm going to show you the class up. I was going to show you guys some gameplay, but unfortunately my whole stream went corrupt from the other day, so I have no gameplay with the gun. So I'll just show you the class up here, it might be a nice short video, you guys can get the class, and it's literally going to be just the class up. But before we do jump into the video guys, if you are new around it, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on so miss any more videos on the channel. We are so close to 10k right now. We are literally less than 80 subscribers away from 10k So if you can help us hit that and you aren't already please go and subscribe to the channel Help me hit that 10k mark. It'd be absolutely amazing if you can do that If you do enjoy the video smash big thumbs up Let me know your thoughts on this amp 63 in the comments below quickly before we get into it though guys I do want to put a disclaimer out. This isn't the best gun in the game. There's no way this is a meta gun It's not the best. It's not even the best pistol in the game Let alone one of the best SMGs or up close guns or anything like that I'd still use the Sarkov pistols over this. I'd use the Renettis. I'd, I'd even use the dual world m19s over this so yeah don't expect this to be anything crazy it's still fun to use it's still got a pretty good time to kill it's still pretty accurate but i would still say that the psychov is better than this gun but there is a class up that i'm just going to show you guys so you can try it for yourself if you want to do that if you want to just try it out see how you do get on some people like it some people don't it's one of them ones where you either love it or you hate it so make sure you just watch the entire class app just put it into your game see if you want to use it try it out and just see how you find it yourself so the first attachment we are going for, guys, is going to be the agency suppressor. It's going to give that better sound suppression, obviously taking you off the radar when you are shooting. A great thing to have, you don't want to be appearing on someone's radar. Especially when you're using this gun, it's going to be so up close and in around enemy teams. You don't want to be appearing on their radar. So increase the vertical recoil control, which is actually really good because these guns do have a little bit of recoil when they come from stock with no attachments on. So the extra bits of recoil that we control here and there is really going to help you be more accurate with this gun, even though you're not shooting that far away. It's going to help increase that bullet velocity when the bullets aren't going to drop off and it's going to carry that damage all the way through. And it's going to increase the effective damage range allowing to win those gunfights up to like 10 15 meters any further than that i would not bother shooting this gun guys it's going to do no damage i'd use your ar or your sniper or whatever other gun you've got so i'd use whichever other gun you've got past 15 meters because this gun's pretty much chalked after that sort of distance so guys, the next attachment on the barrel, we're going to go for the Task Force Barrel. This increases the effective damage range, the bullet velocity and the stray speed. Once again, allowing you to win those gunfights up to about 15 meters. The bullet velocity means the bullets aren't going to drop off. That damage is going to carry on all the way through. And the added stray speed just means you're going to have a better, bit, bit better mobility. Move left and right whilst you are in a gunfight a bit faster. Throwing your opponent off, making the kill a little bit easier for you to pick up yourself. So guys, I actually go with a laser on this gun. I'm going for the Ember Sighting Point, which is increase the effective damage range that you have. Again, one of the th attachments that's going to help you win those longer range gunfights. Like I said, up to like 15, maybe 20 meters at a maximum, but 15 meters is pretty much your limit on where you are going to win those gunfights from. And it's going to increase the hip fire accuracy as well. If you guys know, I like to have a gun which is up close, like an SMG, or in this case, the pistol, or like the Sarkov pistols normally. Anything that I'm up close with, I like to have good hip fire accuracy on because it just means I can run into a building and rather than wasting that extra time ADSing, I can just run in straight hip fire, get them shots off, be nice and accurate, but take people out of the game even before they've EDA even ADSed at me. So it's really going to increase your time to kill and how quickly you can take people out of the game with this massive thing to have. So guys, I go for the 25 round mags. Unfortunately, this is one of the biggest downfalls on the gun, the fact it does only have a 25 round mag one of the biggest disadvantages you have with this gun it's about enough bullets to get one maybe two knocks in this game but there's no way you're going to get one or two more knocks with this gun unfortunately with the 25 round mags if you want to go for the fast mags which has got 22 bullets in it you can do that um, and obviously you have the faster reload time or you have the ad additional couple of bullets and then you can pop a reload the reload time isn't that long anywhere on the pistol which is why i don't go for the fast mags and obviously the fast mags take away from your ads speed and your mobility as well which is one of the best things about having a pistol out is having good mobility have good ads speed and good time to get around the map so that's why i go for the standard 25s rather than the 22 fast mags and then finally guys i'm going for the airborne elastic wrap increasing that ads speed once again so you've got good mobility the gun's fast to ads you've got good hip fire accuracy meaning when you are getting up close and in these buildings you are going to start winning a lot of the gunfights because of how quick you're going to be able to get them shots off you're definitely going to be the first one to start shooting which gives you a much better chance to win those gunfights it's going to increase the flinch resistance basically with someone shooting back at you your gun's not going to move around too much means you can stay very accurate and hit all your shots and then this will increase the aim and stability as well guys as you may have noticed if we take a forward look at the class up we are not running the dual world. We're not running the Kimbos. I don't like the Akimbos. It doesn't feel good with a Kimbo on it. Obviously, usually when a pistol comes out, like the Psychovs, the M19s, the Renettis, the DMRTs, anything like that, everyone goes dual world with them because you've got two fully automatic or semi-automatic pistols that are just going to help you wipe people out of the game. The accuracy with the hip fire, or sorry, the accuracy with the Akimbo on this gun is atrocious. You're not going to hit any shots. It's just all over the place. You literally have to be barrel poking them actually to hit the kill. If you're not barrel poking them with the Kimbos on, you're not going to be able to hit them very much. Whereas this, like I say, to 15 to like 20 meters, you've got a decent time to kill under 15 
meters, you're going to start wiping people out of the game pretty quickly because this gun's just so fast. Shoots very quickly and does have the time to kill. But if you have skipped to this part of the video, guys, make sure you are subscribed and notifications turned on. Like I said, we're so close to 10k subs right now. So if you can help us hit, that'd be absolutely amazing. If you do enjoy the video, please do smash a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this amp in the comments below. If you want to check out my Twitch link or any of my other channels, all my social medias, all my links can be found in the description if you want to check them out. I appreciate you guys watching all this end. We'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.